It's the culmination of our first year with our new artistic vision being led by our new artistic directors, Alison and Natasha. And we decided with the centenary of the First World War that it would be good to do a project on that. Why is it important? Because it's about identifying that heritage belongs to everybody and that people with learning disabilities have just as much a right to have access to their heritage and to the national heritage as everybody else. What Magpie try and do is explore and explain the positive roles that people with learning disabilities play in society and always have. Now that's exactly the same roots as my uh, uh, research interests. And the World War I thing, because it was such a, a, a big kind of commemoration this year, the 100 years, uh, was an ideal opportunity to say that people with learning disabilities contributed to that too. They gave their lives or their country the same as anybody else. And the information they'd found out was quite shocking and little known. And I thought it was a really important story. So I went back with this information to the dancers and fortunately they agreed and said that we need to tell this story. It's the history behind it all and how, how they used to treat special needs people. It, it takes you back in time when family and relatives were in that one as well. Their excitement was palpable. You could see um, how much they wanted to get involved and dancers started coming in with stories of their families, um, medals and artwork that they'd created as a result of their research. And it was really wonderful to see that ignition of that passion. It's actually my mum's great granddad, Freddie Jordan. He was in the army, but also in the First World War. And this would be the uniform he had. When we came back into class I started to see people move in completely different ways and they'd really engaged with the pieces on stage. Uh, one of the dancers in fact had noticed that the performers were wearing yellow gloves and wanted to know why and this um, led to research by her and her mum. They came back to tell us about the Canary Girls and the, the ladies that had worked in factories and been poisoned by the chemicals there. And then the hair would get different colour and the arms and hands would get yellow. Victorian street games. About all the World War things uh -huh. and the World War I uh, games. We have many roses. <laughs> Scotch and marbles. And we know flag, the new flag in the World War One. There's signs. 1915 Royal Hospital Scheme. Shell shock. Love and loss. People with learning disabilities will call different names. Nunatic asylums were renamed War 
Hospitals. And because the uh, doctors in there are not nice people. They, it's not really nice names, really. Um, the term for learning disabilities is a relatively modern one. In these times, 1914, there were a range of terms. So, idiot, imbecile. My daughter, Hannah, uh, is one of the magpie dancers and she was quite distressed to think that anybody could treat a disabled person in the way that the, the, well, the inmates were treated in the asylums. So we had a long chat about um, the way in which disability or the people's views of disability have changed. Hannah has a very strong sense of right and wrong. She's got quite a, a, quite a strong moral compass and that really spurred her on to, to want to know more. She's been inspired. <laughs> Overwhelmed. I've actually been quite teary walking around, looking at the inspiration that the young, the young people have drawn from the subject. And they've all done something completely different. And they've produced artwork. And they've produced writing. Um, and they've independently produced projects. So I think the whole thing has been, um, I keep using the word inspirational, but it's touched a well pool of creativity. We come together in a beautiful way. We bring together our abilities. We are kind. One other kind. We come together, we are movers and shakers. It's wonderful to see how the young people that have um, taken on board such a serious subject and really made it their own. Well, the show was absolutely superb, very touching, very moving. I thought everyone done a tremendous job, as they always do. Credit to everyone, the hard work, the effort, they've all put in long hours, brilliant. Oh yes, my daughter Catherine is one of the factory workers. Well, I'm um, very proud actually, because she's matured with her dancing. She's become more disciplined with being in Magpie. She's really benefited quite a lot. I really enjoyed it. It's wonderful to be here to see my brother's happy woman. I'm a big stage. Big. I'm being like professional on stage. I didn't realise there'll be so much presence on the stage with the young children. They really know their stuff, so I'll be coming again. Oh no.